Let's not just talk about the differences between a splitter and a matrix switcher, but I want to demonstrate it for you right here. I've got a lot of monitors set up, ready and connected to go to walk you through showing you the differences between the two and helping you decide what you need in your video distribution infrastructure. Let's start off with a video splitter. This is an HDMI video splitter. And what it will allow you to do is take your video feed using HDMI and split that particular feed between two destinations. Now this is a one by two splitter and I've actually used other types of splitters, one by fours, one by eights. And essentially it's one source coming into your splitter and then taking that feed and distributing it across the number of HDMI outputs. So let's get this connected and let me show you what this looks like. So hidden right behind my monitors, I actually have a power outlet. So I'm gonna connect my power for this splitter. And for the video feed that I want to split using this device, I wanna use my A10 Mini program output. Now, if you have the A10 Mini Extreme, this comes with two HDMI outputs on the back. And typically in a larger environment, you want to split the program feed. Now, as you can see behind me, I have the multi-view feed, and that's the feed that I typically wanna keep internal to our video production team. The program out feed is what I wanna split between multiple TVs, and in a church and ministry environment, we wanna split these between the TVs in the foyer, or maybe the rear TVs in the back of the sanctuary. So from my A10 Mini Extreme, this cable right here is connected to my program feed, and I'm gonna plug this into the HDMI input of the splitter. Now I'm gonna take another HDMI cable and connect it to HDMI out one and then connect it to my first monitor. So as you can see, just plugging directly into the input of my monitor and we're able to see the program out. Now the monitor that I'm using is the Fieldware 4K seven inch monitor and I really like that monitor to not only have in here for demonstrations, but I can also use this to attach to my mirrorless cameras when I'm out in the field. And I can just use that monitor really wherever I just need a secondary monitor. Now we'll take our next HDMI cable and I'll plug this into HDMI output two and I'll connect this to the second monitor. And now we're connected to the second monitor, which is the Lilliput A11 monitor. And this is a larger monitor. And I primarily use this monitor for my teleprompter setup, which I don't really have on this studio space now. But again, if you need a secondary monitor, it's nice to have these portable monitors with you. Now, as you can see right now, the video is being split. The HDMI coming out of the A10 Mini Extreme is being split into two different monitors. And so now as I go through my different camera angles, if I switch to camera two, you'll see camera two is reflecting now on both of those monitors. Camera three is actually looking at those cameras. So we'll switch to our overhead and now you'll be able to see those on both screens as well. Camera five, which is our over the shoulder and camera six, which is one of our behind the scenes cameras. So as you can see, having an HDMI splitter, serves a really good function of just splitting your video feed to multiple destinations. And again, you can use a one by two, a one by four, or even a one by eight to send that one feed to different locations. But let's say you wanna have more than one video input that you wanna display on your multiple screens. Maybe not only do you wanna just show your A10 mini program out feed, but maybe there's another computer that you want to bring into your production and show on those screens as well and those monitors. Or maybe you have a second or third computer that has different lyrics or different slides that you wanna be able to show on your screens. And maybe you want some added functionality where you can actually control which input is being displayed on which output. That's where you might wanna look at a matrix switcher. So let's go ahead and walk through that setup. And as I'm cleaning up the desk and transitioning, make sure you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead, now is a great time to do that. Now the team over at Ore sent me their four x four matrix switcher. And I thought it was perfect timing because I'm actually setting up 
this studio space and to have this switcher is actually going to allow me to help create more tutorial videos just like this one. They're not paying me for a video review, but they did ask if I could create a video of me actually using the device. So here it is. Now, currently I have the matrix switcher already installed and it's actually sitting right in front of my network switch. And rather than uninstalling it, just to show you the four HDMI inputs and the four HDMI outputs, I'm going to assume you understand what four HDMI inputs could probably look like or four HDMI outputs. And we'll also throw up a graphic on the screen so you can check out the back of it. But in its simplest form, that's what you're working with. And it does come with one extra component. It also comes with this handy dandy remote and we'll walk through this in a second. Let's explain what I have going on in this setup right now and how the matrix switcher is a prime piece of this setup. So currently I have four input devices, four devices that are going into each of the HDMI ports. Device number one is my laptop here because sometimes I want to do screen share. And so I want that option for me. Device number two that's plugged into the matrix switcher is my Mac mini that's on my secondary desk because sometimes I do screen share from there as well. Device number three connected into the matrix switcher is my A to mini program feed. So all of the different inputs of the A to mini that you would see in your program feed, I have that connected to the matrix switcher as well. And similar to the demonstration of the splitter, I have input number four being the A10 mini program feed. So those are the four inputs that I have going into the matrix switcher. Now, there are four outputs that you can have as well. I'm only using three outputs for this particular environment right now. Output one is the TV directly behind me. So I can take any of those inputs and change the TV behind me. I'm gonna show you all of this, so hang tight. Output number two is the TV in front of me. The TV in front of me is my confidence monitor. So when I'm doing zooms or doing videos like this, I can make sure that I'm in frame. I can make sure all my cameras are correct. And if I'm doing a presentation where I need to see my screen for slides, I can quickly reference it without losing sight of where the camera is. Now output number three is the TV that I have in the secondary setup. And I love having that extra setup over there because demonstrations again, like this one, make it a lot easier to visually see what you can create, especially when it comes to video production. So those are our inputs and our outputs that we have connected to the matrix switcher. Now to control the matrix switcher, you can manually control it by using the buttons on the front of the device. However, if you plan on mounting it in a location that's gonna be a little bit of out of reach or just an inconvenience to get to day in and day out, then I highly recommend using the included remote controller. The controller is very easy to understand and use. So let me quickly go through it with you. At the top, we have our power button, which will allow you to simply turn on and turn off the matrix switcher. Here, I just leave it on all the time. Output one refers to those four different output selections. Now, again, I'm using three. So output one is A, output two is B, output three is C. And you'll see that the outputs show the four inputs. So I can select which of the four inputs that I have for this specific output. Now behind me is output A, which is my HDMI one. So which feed do I wanna to send to this output? I'll select number one, which is my input one, which happens to be this monitor. And so if I point my remote down to my matrix switcher, it'll take about a couple seconds and it will switch over to the device selected. And as you can see, this is my monitor from my laptop. So I have a dual screen set up and this is what you're seeing as that second screen. Now, I also have my computer that's on the other side of the room, and that is my input number two. So if I wanna show that screen on this TV, all I have to do is select number two, and now you'll see that computer screen is actually the computer that's connected to my desk. 
Now, what you see behind me is me live streaming on Amazon talking about different tech gear and there's a lot of deals coming up. If you're not following me on Amazon, I'll link to it below. Make sure you go over there and actually hit the follow button because I live stream on Amazon as well. And I love to bring you guys some really good deals when they show up. Now back to this matrix switcher, let's jump over into input number three. When I switch it over for this TV, it will change over to input number three, which is the ATEM Mini Multi-View. And input number four, if I switch over, that is the ATEM Mini Program Feed. So if I wanna switch to camera angle two, you'll notice that on the TV, it actually shows camera angle two as well. So as I'm switching here, camera angle three, which is the laptop, on the screen behind me, you'll see that this is switching the program feed of my ATEM. Now, typically back there, I don't use the program feed, so let's turn that back over to our multi-view screen so that you guys can see what's going on over here. Now that was our output one, and the same thing can happen for every other monitor here. So let me show you output two because it's right in front of me. So if you look at the TV in front of me, that is showing the multi-view. And the same thing, I would just go to my output B, which is my output number two of the HDMI, and then select number one. And the TV in front of me is gonna change over to my computer screen. So like I mentioned before, this is a good place for me to have my confidence monitor. I can bring my zoom window over into my monitor start a new zoom window and all the participants that join me in zoom i'm able to see them directly in front of me on this monitor now if i want to switch over to input number two on this monitor now it will show my mac mini computer screen that amazon live page again so if you you should be following me by now on amazon you can see that on the screen input three which is our matrix switcher Input three, which is our ATEM multi-view, and input four, which is going to be our ATEM program. So as you can see, there is a benefit to using a matrix switcher over just a splitter, because you have more controls of what inputs go to which outputs. And depending on your setup, this is gonna give you a lot more flexibility in your video distribution. Now, if this video has been helpful for you, make sure you check out the other videos here on the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you right over there.